This is a training video on how to convert single channels into single or into RGB channels. We're going to assume that what I'm showing you is part of a file. We'll just say it was a Vixen file. And I'm showing six channels of an art, I'm showing multiple channels, six of which were on a mega tree. Uh, red strands, blue strands, and green strands. And instead of having six channels, I really want to have three channels. Um, this training is going to talk about how to do that. So the first thing you do is you come up and you go into Manage Channels and we come up into Raw. And here are the six channels we're going to be talking about. I purposely arranged them in a kind of a, a funny way. Um, what we want is we have these six and we want to add three RGB channels. So we'll come up here and we'll go three. And we're just going to add these to universe one just for the heck of it. We'll go one and add. Now we come down the bottom we got our three channels down here. We're going to call this RGB one. We're going to call this RGB two. And we'll call this one RGB three. And we need to mark them as RGB. And we'll go ahead and we'll save it. Now we need to select these. So we're going to come up here and I've already been playing but we'll say we're going to do a brand new one. So we're going to hit new and now I've got my selection. And this gives me a chance or a way of ordering them. So in order to order these Let's just get rid of all of these. We're going to uncheck them. Now, I want to order them so I got three and then I have my RGB underneath. I'll have three and I'll have my RGB and I'll have three of my RGB. And I want to get rid of these, these white ones as we're speaking. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work with those three. And I'm going to check it. Work with these three. I'm going to check them. Work with those three. I'm going to check it. I'm just picking now, I'm adding to my, my group which ones I'm going to work with. Now I'm going to go ahead and order. And I'll do one, one, one. And here we'll skip, we'll go three, three, three. You'll see why in a minute. And here I'll go five, five. All I'm going to do is sort by order. And since that was one, we'll make that one two. We'll make this one four. We'll make this one six. Now, if I go ahead and sort by order, I got a, I went ahead and, oh, I got them on top. Nope, we're going to change the order around. There we go. Now we flip the order the other way. So I got my three single channels and I got an RGB channel. Three channels, RGB. And all of these are checked, so we're going to save it. And we're going to give it a call name, RGB test. And we're going to save it. Now we're going to come back and we're going to work on that group. So we're going to work on the RGB group. There's my RGB group, and if you notice, there's an RGB channel. Now, in order to convert these three into an RGB, what I do is you come up and you go to Manage Channels, and it says Convert Three Channels to RGB. Click on that. We're going to pull it over here. It wants to know the red channel. So the first thing we're going to do, red one. Then wants the green channel. We're going to do green one. And it wants the blue channel. We're going to do blue one. Where's blue one? There's blue one. And it wants the RGB channel. And we're going to do RGB one. Now it says down here the RGB channel is going to be erased. So if you had anything on this RGB channel, it's going to get blown away. It also says, hey, if you've got them overlapping, and we're not overlapping them here. Overlapping means we got red and blue occurring at the same time. You're going to get a slightly funny RGB conversion, which you're going to have to manually address. And I'll show you that in a minute. Okay? Uh, now, if you're not used to HLS, what you can do is you can move this too. See how you can move that around? We can reposition that if we want. And so we hit perform. Boom. 
Now I have a single RGB channel. Let me show you what happens when they're overlapped. Now there are three that are overlapped. We come, our red are going to be our red two. Green is going to be green two. Blue is going to be blue two. And the RGB channel is going to be RGB2. Where is RGB2? There's it. And we're going to do a conversion. Now, if you noticed on the conversion here, you got some with red, some with blue, and we got some green. We can move this guy. Just move him out of the way a little bit. We can move this blue guy. Now, you see, that blue and that red is overlapping a little bit here. Get these guys spread out a little bit. So what you had is you had a little bit of overlap. So if you really wanted that, you could come in here and leave it like this. You would probably want to butt your blue up. You want to go into overlays if what you were trying to do is change colors. And we're just going to do. So I'm just showing you that after you get it done, you can still come in and manipulate it. Okay. Now, we still have these funny colors here. So now what we need to do is we've done three. So now we go back up to Manage Channels. And we're going to get rid of this. Um, we're going to get rid of these three. So we're going to come and right click on this number. It's going to say, yeah, we're going to delete it. Yeah, we're going to delete it. And yeah, we're going to delete it. And we're going to do the same for these three because we converted both of them. Okay, now we're going to save. You're going to want to hit that save button a lot just to make sure you save everything and we're going to shut it down. Now we'll start it back up. Come back in. And now we've got our single RGB. We got two RGBs that replaced our six and here's the three that we still have. Okay, so that's kind of a brief tutorial on how to reduce your channel count from 3 to 1 for RGB. Now these can be uh, RGB strings or what I do is on my mega tree, I actually have four colors. I've got white, red, green, and blue. The way I lay mine out is one single white channel and then an RGB channel. And by having two channels in the editor, I'm actually driving four physical channels or four physical uh, colored LEDs out on the mega tree. But I'm not dealing with four channels. I'm only dealing with two. Um, so that should be it for training.